hi welcome to new lesson and uh, in this lesson we are going to discuss about the R memory design techniques so in this R memory design techniques we are going to discuss what are the memory hierarchy and what is memory controller and what is a interrupt controller okay so the first we are going to discuss about the flash RAM dynamic RAM and uh, there is another memory which we forget to discuss here that is the cache memory so these are the memory which is being used into our microcontroller design techniques so let's say if here is a core of processor then there is a first type of memory which is highly coupled with this core that is known as a cache memory okay this is cache memory which is connected with the core and that is the first level of memory and then second level of memory is connected with the RAM okay so this RAM is connected which is a little further than uh, this cache memory that's mean accessing to the cache will take a low time as comparison to the accessing this RAM memory okay and apart from that then there is a further which is uh, even further than this RAM memory then we have a secondary memory or other type of memory let's say okay we have a secondary memory and if we discuss this storage trade-off then in general what happens the memory which is nearby this core is more costly than the memory which is far away from the core so there is a trade-off how let's say here is memory size and here is a performance plus cost performance and and here we have a cost so here we get first cache memory and then we get main memory which includes flash also and then we have a secondary storage how do you understand this let's compare it with your computer system architecture design in your computer in general computer have a cache memory which is tightly coupled with the processor then it has RAM and then it has a, fl a, f a hard disk okay so these are the uh, memory hierarchy so the cache cache size is very low 1 MB 1 GB so the cache size is really very low such as few MB only 10 MB and uh, uh, 20 MB maximum cache size in large system design and this main memory so this is around let's say the 10 KB to 1 MB in general and this varies from 256 KB to let's say the 250 MB around this main memory okay and this varies into the GB gigabyte of memory okay and there are few other uh, factors which actually affect this memory uh, transfers the speeds and the performance other than the hierarchy so this is known as a hierarchy uh, lesser the distance between memory and the core it takes a lesser the time to access the memory so this becomes a hierarchy and the another feature becomes width so another one is the width so the width means the data width uh, data path width we can say so in this data path widths there are um, many type of data path widths 
such as 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit as well as a 64 bit data paths so a better uh, a, a larger data path that will be a faster data transfer so in general what happens our microcontroller the general R microcontroller is a 32 bit wide R microcontrollers and this type of R microcontrollers have a memory which is a 16 bit that's the 2 bit wide okay and to access this 32 bit uh, 32 bit uh, 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 range of memory it needs a two uh, 16 bit load instructions okay so the moreover what we can make here we can make a table here to understand that in a better way if we make here an instruction size and uh, 8 bit memory and 16 bit memory and then 32 bit memory let's say then what happens here if this instruction size is arm 32 bit which is full then if 8 bit memory cycle then it takes 4 cycle and in the form of the 16 bit it takes only the two cycle and in 32 bit memory width it takes only one cycles okay and if it is thumb that is 16 bit architecture design then it takes only the two cycles and then here it takes only one cycle in fact not two it takes only one cycle and here of course it take only one cycle this shows that if memory width is only the 8 bit okay and the to access a full memory bit okay instruction size the 32 bit 8 divided by uh, 32 divided by 8 it becomes 4 and 16 and 32 it is the 2 and 32 and 32 is of course one cycle right so this is all about in this video in which we had discussed about the arm memory design and the hierarchy of the arm memory design techniques and the data path width of the memory and uh, instruction size and how many clock cycles it will take with a comparison to the instruction size to access the memory so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day